what is up YouTube real quick I just want to go over a um, map guide for all maps real quick on subtle to rogue um, and what I think you can do in the opener to improve your gameplay um, so Warsong me personally I'm sprinting out of the map trying to lock down a healer using everything in my arsenal to keep one healer out of the team fight for the open team fight okay um, Arathi Basin, I'm, as Alliance, I'm capping stables, um, checking accountability. If everybody's accounted for, I'm going to look for which base needs a little bit extra help to secure the node. I'm not going to go to a losing base, right? That's just wasting your time. Do not go to a losing base, okay? Um, unless, like, you got a freak of a healer up there and they only have, like, one person up, right? But that's not even a really a losing base. That's just, like, 50-50. Okay, I'm talking, you just like, you can see like, let's say they have a priest and, you know, one melee or some caster sitting in mid and they both don't have trinket, go get that base, okay? Um, Deep Hole Ravine, at Deep Hole Ravine, I made a YouTube guide on how this map operates. I'm not really sure how it's going to operate as um, a map, but what I can say, what I think is going to happen, rogues are going to be trying to control the healers. Um, maybe bomb cap the gemstone in middle while back capping carts or possibly killing gemstone holders um, as they try and go turn in solo. Okay, that's probably what that's just a guess. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like in Blitz. I haven't played it yet, uh, but I do love this map. Some people hate this map. I think it's a very good map. I'm very excited for this. I have the Storm. Very interesting map because I think everybody plays it wrong. Okay. On the opener, if anybody says that they're going as Alliance, let's say everybody's like, oh, let's go FR, let's go FR. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Listen. On opener, you're going to go DR. Okay. You're going to cap the base and you're going to control mid. You're going to get that mid flag. Oh, well, some of the world, both bases. If you have both bases, you can't cap. Shut up. Okay. Control mid, control DR. Reason being is because if you control mid and you have flags sitting at DR but you don't cap, okay, the enemy team has to come over. They have to. They come over, they either have to kill the flag, force cap, or cap the base, okay? How many people do you think, if you have eight out of eight people sitting at your base, how many people are they going to send? They might send a few at the beginning and then more and more and more. Then what can you do? Then you can go to FR and back cap. You can cap on them behind you, okay? Um, and if if you can't get it, just cap the flag, okay? But you want to force them to come over, okay? Reason being is because once you cap that flag, both bases that are at mercy of both teams. Whereas in the opener, it's just one for one, okay? Play for mid on the opener. Do not let the mid flag um, just go. Once you cap that first flag, it it doesn't really matter because then you can control both bases, right? But in the opener, I mean, unless you're a monk and you're doing some secret tech, then you can only control one base. Gilneas, um, my biggest advice is try and just talk to somebody in the map on your team. Be like, yo, um, I'm going to go hit this base. Um, cover me, okay? Because if you sit a base the entire game without being aggressive, you're going to lose the game, dude, Okay. Unless your team is just crazy and they win waterworks and they're actually rotating, you kind of need to be the backbone for Gilneas, okay? Whether that's floating um, when waterworks is losing or floating, slowing people down. Um, I would just make sure the biggest thing for Gilneas, make sure your accountability is good, okay? If your accountability is missing and you lose mines because you ghosted or whatever, you're going to get flamed constantly, okay? Just be patient. Accountability for your team. Just hold that base, okay? Because nobody's going to want to hold a base, man. That's, they see a rogue, it's your fucking job. It doesn't matter if the enemy player on the other team is some 1,300 mage with no block, no trinket. It doesn't matter. Hold the base. If everybody's accounted for, go and rotate, okay? Have somebody peel out. It's it's very team fight oriented. I mean, if nobody wants to help you, then they kind of just lose the game, Okay? You can help yourself, you have to ghost, uh, but you just better be damn sure that you know what you're doing. Twin Peaks, same thing as Warsong, on opening, lock that healer down. Silver Shard Mines, Silver Shard Mines is very interesting. 
reason being is because I like to always go for top, sap them, control the cart, get a few residual points, and play for Berserker. Get Berserker, rotate mid, crush them there, rotate lava. Okay? If you can't do that, um, maybe look lava and see if your team is losing. If your team is losing prior to uh, flip, flip it long, rotate mid. Okay? Mid caps first before lava on open. So mid almost has a little bit more prio, um, I would argue, okay? Um, for off off cards, not main team fight. Main team fight, you're kind of just shitting on them. But if you swap it long, then mid, mid obviously. Temple, I mean, that, sh that thing is a shit fest, man. Um, as a rogue, I would just advise maybe just try and lock down the enemy healer as much as you can. Go for orb kills. Um, if nobody on your team really seems to, like... You know, uh, like this is before gate opens. If nobody on your team really seems like the type of person to be carrying, just pick up the orb yourself, carry that shit around, do zero damage. I have a game on YouTube where I literally took my weapons off and I carried the game with the most points on my team and we won. Um, just with movement. Deep one. Deep one is very interesting because I also think people play this wrong. Okay. If I go, let's say I'm playing um, Horde side and I go and cap Ruins. I always play the bot side, by the way. Let's say I go and cap Ruins, okay? And the enemy team, for whatever fucking reason, all eight people are coming to Ruins on opener, okay? Do you think I'm losing that base? Be honest. Be honest. Do you honestly think I'm losing that base when I cap runes on opener? If you answered yes, you're crazy. Okay? I'll tell you why. If I cap runes and the enemy team has to traverse across the map, when you cap a flag, you have 30 seconds to get that shit back. Okay? It takes them at least fucking 10 to 15 to even get there. You're telling me all I have to do is spin for 10, 15 seconds? With Vanish, Cloak, Evasion, Blind, 20-yard Saps, Duel? <sighs> okay? I think everybody that is going to a corner base on opener of Deep Wind is trolling. Unless somebody fucking leaves the base. Okay? That's totally fine if somebody leaves. But even then, you need to be hauling ass to get that corner base. It is just better. Cap your corner bases. Okay? If everybody's accounted for... Go mid, okay? Go mid. Spin your cooldowns. Kenny bombed the kill target, okay? That's what you need to be doing on deep point. You do not be like, guys, guys, I'm going to go get shrine. Trust. Somebody get ruins. No. No. Just cap your fucking base, okay? Secure some points for your team. Rotate mid, okay? Um, if they're coming towards you, spin it. Because if there's three people, two people, one person... Somebody is a man down somewhere else for the enemy team. Okay? Don't complain. Why? I got, I got three people at my base. Shut up. Hold it. Watch Subs World. Okay? Learn how to spin. And yeah, other than that, that is every single map. Quick guide. Um, hopefully, this helps you guys in your War Within Season 1 RBG Solar Q Blitz. What a mouthful. Yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.